1987 divided by mod 37. Now I want to prove that 3 to the power 2 n plus 1, 3 to the power 2 n plus 1, plus 2 to the power n plus 2, this is divisible by 7. <coughs> Excuse me. Mm. Uh, and a lot of these expressions, yes, <laughs> they they have they have some fixed factors. Yes. Okay, show them. me short ways to do uh, to do problems. Mm -hmm. So um, his brain is amazing. He's uh, very fast in solving problems, and I think you you've seen how he how fast he does he does those problems. Um, I've I've worked with other people, and then uh, like for this simple problem, it took him like one minute and a half. It might take like twenty minutes for other people. Like this problem here. So I wanted him to prove that 7 divides uh, 2,222 to the power 5,555 plus 5,555 to the power uh, 2,222. So this probably, for if somebody sees this, he says, oh, how can I do this? Even some, even old computers would not do this, but he was able to do it, you know, in two lines. All right. All right, Ray, I'm going to give you a problem. Okay, 2, 3, 7, 16, 32, 57, 93. What's the next one? Uh, 142. Okay, so how did you figure that out? Uh, I, so I... I noticed the numbers are getting further apart. Okay, yes. And but how did you come up with 142? That, and then I noticed that the differences were the squares. Very good. Very good. So what Ray just did is he just figured out the formula of sum of squares. Essentially, in his mind, he's able to see the pattern and figure out the sum of squares. Um, so what's normally sum of squares? This is normally zero, right? Right, right? So this should be zero here. And what's the next one? One. And then? Five. And then? A Fourteen. Uh-huh. A Thirty. Very good. And? Fifty-five. Mm-hmm. And ninety. And then what should be the next one normally? Uh, 140. Yeah, there you go. Um, so this is amazingly fast. Um, most people don't even, can't even do uh, the sum of squares. Mm -hmm. Can't determine the formula. Ray is able to actually figure this out on the fly. I've tested Ray a few times before, and he's able to do that. And Ray, you could also tell us, like, given a date, you can tell us the day of the week, right? Yes. Okay. So what day of the week is or will be, let's just say, um, uh, March 2nd, uh, 2019? 
March 2nd, 2019. Um, Saturday. You can see March 2nd is Saturday. So 2019 will be the same as 2013. Ah, there we go. 2019 is the same as 2013. Six years apart. Why is that, Ray? Is it, is it always six years apart? Mm. Or not necessarily? And no, because of leap year. Ah, there you go. There you go. Very good, Ray. All right. 